How to create a quick grid in Critter. Go to the gradient tool in the tools panel, select that, go up here and you've got the gradient presets. Click there and now here I would suggest that select this one, the second one. Go to edit and now you can see the stop. Now yours may be different from mine. I would suggest black here. You can set the color here so you maybe make it red, green, etc. White for that one. Again, you can have different colors if you want. However, to change the color, simply click here. Select the actual grid there, the gradient itself for the grid, and this option here. Just this little button here creates a segment, split segment. So split segment basically adds another stop. That's what it does. Instead of just clicking it to add a stop, you have to use this. And that's fine. Now what you can do, you can select it and you can drag it along. And I'm just gonna drag it there. When it really crunched up against that, and I'm gonna change the color because I'm gonna go with white. And again, if you've changed the color to say red for this one, go with red for that one as well. And now you've crunched it up really against that. So the whole thing is basically white with a very thin sliver of black. And click OK. With that gradient tool, just apply it. And I'm gonna here with tool options. So settings and go down to dockers and tool options. And you can see that alternating or forwards. I'm gonna go with alternating and linear. And just drag slightly and hold down the shift. Hold down the shift and release. And you've got these lines. Then go to up here to the blending mode and go with darken because if you still keep it as normal, it's not going to work. And then drag downwards and you can see the line there. Try and create it about the same as before. Hold down the shift as well and release. And if it doesn't work first time, you can always just try it again. Maybe make the size slightly less and you can see the design there. There's your grid. So you want a slightly thicker black line. In this case, Let's just go over here again, got the gradient tool selected, go up here, click there, you've got this, go to edit, and you've got white and white here. Well, you can select this stop, just select it. And you can't move this stop, the black stop, these stops are, I think even this one, you just fixed. I'm not certain why, but that's the way it works. So with that selected, click there and set it to black. Click OK. And now with that black, you've got obviously a lot thicker black there. However, what you need to do now is again, go to this, click on this gradient, again, click here, and it will create another stop. And with that, you can just drag that along, put that really crunched up there, change color to white, or red or green, or whatever the colors are. So these could be greens, these could be blues, etc. So now you've got a slightly thicker line. Click OK and do exactly the same as before. Hold down the shift and drag. And you can see now you've got thicker lines there and you can do the other way as well. Again, it's got dark in there. That's the key thing. Just drag down, maybe same distance. And there you have yet another line. Obviously now you've got a grid. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please leave in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.